Hey there thrill seekers! Today we're talking about the energy of roller coasters. So, you know how sometimes you feel full of energy, and other times you feel completely drained? Well, objects that interact at a distance, like roller coaster carts, can feel the same way. Let me explain. You know how, when you climb up to the top of a roller coaster track, you feel a little scared but also kind of excited? That's because you have potential energy stored up in your body. And when you go down that track, that potential energy turns into kinetic energy, that is, the energy of motion, and you feel that rush of excitement. When a roller coaster car climbs up a hill like this, it's building up potential energy. Kind of like how you build up energy when you stretch a rubber band. That potential energy is stored in the car and the track, waiting to be turned into something else. When the car goes zooming down the other side, that potential energy gets turned into kinetic energy. The energy of motion! But here's the thing. The amount of potential energy a roller coaster car has depends on where it is on the track. When the car is at the bottom of a hill, it doesn't have as much potential energy stored up as it does at the top. But when it's at the top of a hill, it has a lot of potential energy stored up and ready to go. So is the arrangement of objects. In this case, the roller coaster car and the track. Changes, different amounts of potential energy are stored in the system. And that's why you feel so energized after a roller coaster ride. All that potential energy has been turned into a wild ride. Thanks for joining me on this wild ride through the energy of roller coasters. Until next time, stay energized.